I've done it. I have, I can't believe it. I found, I have found a galaxy. I have discovered a galaxy. Look at it. I can't believe it. This is incredible. That's not a, uh, it's not a galaxy. What? Yeah, no, it's, no, it's not look, a galaxy. Yes, look. Here. Look, it's right there. I can't believe it with my own eyes. I discovered it. Yeah, no, what you're looking at actually is, may I? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, it's the that's just a galaxy view. from cloud wheel. It's a brand new skateboard wheel. Yeah. I'd uh, really appreciate if you wouldn't. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and take it. Disclose this information. Test it out. If that's okay I, uh, with you. I uh, don't want to not sound. Smart yeah, no, anymore. totally. I'll uh, keep this between you and me. And, yeah, uh, you use your utmost discussion. Everyone and else on the entire. Thank you. The skate review. Yeah, no. Yeah, between you and me, you're so smart. You're so smart. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Today we have the newest iteration from Cloud Wheel, the Galaxy Pro wheels. These wheels are newer boosted style wheels with a tread pattern cut out inside of them. The Apex style setup with the 12 suspension holes, hollow port cutouts, allows you to have a little bit of a softer wheel even though it still has very firm feeling to it. At 105 millimeters in diameter, it's a very large wheel but perfect for my favorite kind of class. At 65 millimeters total, with a 60 millimeter claimed contact patch up top here, the Galaxy Pro does provide enough grip and holds you without sliding out no matter what. iCloud also provides a I Wonder bearing setup. These bearings are included with the spacers and definitely perform for what you need to ride on. So the Tiny Stinger is definitely one of my favorite mini boards of the season. It's uh, insanely overpowered, along with incredible amount of range. I mean, a 12 s 3 p of the P42 Molly cells, it is, uh, is by far just unheard of numbers for a mini board. I mean, for a board this size, to be able to go 25, 30 miles on a single charge, I mean, this is kind of nuts to me. And the one thing I will say, my biggest gripe was the Cloud Wheel Hydro Wheel that actually came with it. So obviously Cloud Wheel for Cloud Wheel, but uh, this right here, it's this rubber pattern mixed with this like polyurethane and it's a great amount of grip, but I just like, it didn't feel right to me still. Something felt, uh, something felt off with it. I don't know how to explain it. So the main difference obviously between the 105 millimeter on both of these is you can see on here, the contact patch is from this big. You're getting a little bit bigger of a contact patch on here. You're still getting these carved out lines, which I'm not 100% sure I feel about that yet. And this texture on this feels almost kind of waxy. So interesting choice for the cloud wheels to go with. But again, the 12 suspension wheels is supposed to give you a little bit more comfort. Unlike some uh, some other wheels out there, you know, that, that suspension wheels in there, it's supposed to give you a little bit more comfort. It's a pretty, ugh, pretty stiff ride. I'm not gonna lie. There's nothing, uh, no give to it really whatsoever. So hopefully those, uh, those suspension wheels kind of make the ride a little bit softer. But again, Hydro wheels, as great as they are, I mean, I'm never gonna ride in the rain. You're never gonna catch me in the rain. If I get caught in the rain, it's because I made a horrible mistake and it's like a torrential downpour for whatever reason. So Hydro wheels for me, they're great. I understand where they are in the world. They're, you know, people, some people need to ride in the rain. Some people need to ride them in wet conditions or some people just enjoy that off-roading kind of grip. And I mean, you can see like, I've really kind of worn these things down. But when it comes to just street performance I want a street wheel that's it the other good thing about uh, using the tiny stinger with the cloud wheels already on there and that collaboration with them from those hydro wheels is that this abec core is already installed so I don't even have to change anything out here abec pulleys 
Apex situation. Grab that guy in there. Seat it down. Spacer. And away we go. So I don't know if it's coming off in the video if you can see it, but there's like this shine, like a, like almost like a, a dipped coating on here. And you can see right there, that's got like a little film. It's actually stretchy. Interesting. Just an interesting coating. It doesn't seem like it's all the way around this, but it's just on this top part here. So I'm interested to see what that will have to do with the performance of the wheel. So let's go ahead and test this thing out. So I am literally just trying to... So I'm literally just trying to get that, that clear polyurethane finish off these wheels for some reason. I don't know if I truly appreciate that, but I forgot how how you can whip this thing around. I, I love double king pin on these short boards, midi style boards really. I mean, this is a long board, but it's got a lot of weight, a lot of height for those riders have to do. These 100 millimeter wheels, definitely 105 millimeter wheels, definitely give it a little bit more height, but so far, no sliding. Nope, just trying to whip this thing around, no sliding. All right, let's see if that came off at all. Oh yeah. You can see in, on the surface, it definitely is worn off, but the inside of those like, like rain channel trucks there, it's kind of still there, but. So I know what the number one question is, what are you gonna ask me is the Wapa factor. Obviously the Wapa factor has multiple different situations inside of it. It has the, uh, the trucks, the wheels, the deck, the overall snappiness, I would say, of the uh, whole thing here. And I can say that the Tiny Stinger wasn't lacking in Wapa by any stretch of means. It was Wapa certified. But what I will say, if you wheel, I'm not locked. Not warm out today. I think it's a high of 32. So definitely not a warm day. But what I will say is after riding these things for about two weeks now, the grip on these wheels are way better than I anticipated. I would say that this is actually one of my favorite cloud wheels to date. Not to say that the other cloud wheels haven't been great. I just find that with it comes to street wheels, I am a street wheel fan and with the Rovers and the 110s and other wheels they've come out with, they've been great for what they are, but for me personally, not my biggest uh, fan of those wheels uh, for my ride style. I, I, if I'm riding a street wheel, I want to feel a street wheel. Now what I will say is that these new wheels are by far my favorite wheels from the Cloud Wheel to date. The amount of grip that they provide, 
the comfortability over bumps, cracks, everything in between, like this coming up here. Being able to do that is a major plus in my book. And just the overall comfortability that I'm feeling, it's a great wheel. I think that they're strong enough and sturdy enough at the 72 durometer that they are definitely firm enough to take care of my needs. At the same time, they're soft enough with those suspension wheels inside there to eat up these bumps and cracks and not transfer that to my feet directly. So I can definitely appreciate that as well. The range that I've been getting is actually pretty good. Uh, this is a very, very good range board to begin with. So on, on any average, I was getting from 25 to 30 miles, uh, just kind of cruising this thing around. 12 S3P, P42 Molly Cell battery system is a very big battery system for a MIDI style board. And especially when I'm not really trying to rip this thing at top end speed the entire time. Cruising around that 15 to 20 miles of range, uh, of 15, 20 miles per hour, it's uh, it's provided a lot of, a lot of range. And the confidence that this wheels actually do produce are really good. So if you are looking to market for a cloud wheel, I would definitely recommend the Cloud Wheel Pros over pretty much the other Cloud Wheels that are out there right now. I don't think you're going to find a negative in the sense that you're trying to ride on the street or do some little bit of off-roading. I wouldn't take these things off-roading completely, but definitely a, a very good wheel to be considered. Final thoughts on the Cloud Wheel Galaxy Pro Edition. I think that these wheels are one of the better wheels that Cloud Wheels has come out with to date. I think that the ride comfort and grip is superior to their other wheels they've put out. And uh, for me, when I ride a street wheel, I want to feel a street wheel. I don't need the rubber and all the other things that they've come out with in the past. While they are great and they absolutely have their place in the world of ski skate, I think that for me, when I'm on a street wheel, I want to feel a street wheel, and I think that they knocked it out of the park with this setup. I cannot recommend these enough that if you are looking for a 105mm wheel from Galaxy and Cloud Wheel situation, this is the wheel for you. Now there are other wheels out there, and you can go ahead and check out my reviews down below. And if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button, thumbs up this video for more content, and as always, always wear your helmet. Until next time, guys. Peace out. Peace out, homies. Peace out, homies.